one winter afternoon, there was a lady who was working so hard in the back of her office. She had three children and she had to work hard to feed them. And there was a, a knock on her door and the receptionist of the office came running and she said, ma'am, there are two people waiting outside to see you. And this lady was not expecting any guests. But she ran out because she was longing for somebody to visit her, somebody to show her love. And behold, she saw a couple. There was a man with a guitar and another lady by his side. And the man said, ma'am, we know that your husband has been long gone. He's been posted in a far country, far away country. And he's working in the military, fighting the wars for our country. And you have not seen him for several months. Your heart must be so broken. But I have good news for you. We have good news for you. Your husband sent us here. Her face brightened. And they said, your husband wanted us to sing you a song. And he wanted us to tell you how much he loves you. How much he loves you. How much he loves you. And they began to sing the song which the husband wanted them to sing. It was the song that the husband had sung over her before he left several months ago. And as she heard them sing, her heart rejoiced. Her heart overflowed with joy. She began to cry and cry and cry as she heard them sing. The song from the husband, from the far country through these people, touched her heart. She said, my husband remembers me. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. And as she was listening to the song, and love overwhelmed within her heart, thinking about her husband, and overwhelmed because her husband loved her so much. Her heart was so overwhelmed. And as she was listening to the song, and enjoying herself, thinking, my husband has loved me so much that he sent these people to sing for me. That's all I need. That's all I need. That's all I need. That was what her heart was saying. But suddenly, it was not just the song. Her husband himself, dressed in full military honors, walked into that room. And walked into that room and hugged her. She couldn't believe it. It was not just the song. It was her husband, her himself coming in. Embracing her. Kissing her. Loving her. She couldn't believe it. She couldn't believe it. This was what happened on Christmas Day. Until then people heard the songs from the Lord. The prophecy from the Lord. The words of love from God. The admonitions from God. But on Christmas Day, the Father Himself walked into this world. Walked into this world to hug us to kiss us and made us feel that he was part of us as a human being. What great love. 
what great joy came into her heart. She said, I'm not alone. I'm not alone anymore to carry my children. But then both of them didn't stop there. They had three children and they wanted to give them a surprise. And the father went to the school of the first girl. And as he walked into the school, the principal said, I'm going to take you straight to your daughter's class, the first daughter. And he walked into the school, he walked into the class, and behold, that's his daughter. <laughs> I missed you, Daddy. Where were you, Daddy? I missed you so much. I suffered so much. I was in pain. I was lonely. I missed you, Daddy. I missed you. Where were you? Where were you? But now you have come. That's all I need. That's what the shepherds would have said. The wise men would have said. And they said, thank you for coming. We tried so much to earn our money as shepherds. But we couldn't. We needed you, Lord. Where were you? But now you have come. The kings would have said, we did so much of research, but we, could, we couldn't find the solution. Thank God. You are the wisdom of God. You have come to give us wisdom. Now we'll have the way to find solutions to human problems. I missed you. Today you may miss him, but he is coming to you as Emmanuel. He says, I'm going to be with you forever, my child. He is here with us. Shall we tell him, Lord, you have come for me. I love you, Lord. You will be my father. I give my heart to you. Would you make that prayer right now and tell him, forgive me for pushing you away. Today I give my heart to you. Lord Jesus, be born in my heart. Be born in my heart. I want to love you as my daddy. I want you to be my father. I'll be your son. I'll be your daughter. Shall we spend these few minutes closing our eyes, meditating before God, making this Christmas meaningful to us personally? How are we as the Father has come to us today? How is our life? Let's analyze our life. Have we pushed him away? If not, right now we are going to pray. Lord, I am not going to push you away. I know you. You are my father. Lord Jesus, be born in my heart. Shall we all pray together, each one, and tell the Lord, Father, come into my heart. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. This is a golden moment when God is here. God himself is here. The one who gives you wisdom. The one who gives you the future. Your daddy is here. Would you open your heart and invite him. Here is Mr. Samuel Paul Dinakran to lead us into this prayer. Loving Lord, even though the star appeared to us, even though the angels told us of the good news, told us of the great joy and great peace that was to come to man. 
Lord, many times in our life, we have missed it, Lord. Forgive us for rejecting you, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us that we have rejected you despite the many chances that we had. The good news that came to us. Lord, we are here to say that we miss you. We miss you. We miss your love, Lord. We miss your love. Please forgive us and take us back in your arms. Kiss us. Bless us. And love us, Lord. We want you. We want the joy and peace that you came to give on earth. You came for us, Lord. You came searching us, Lord. Lord, please take us in your arms at this moment. Forgive us and say, yes, I love you, my child. Make us happy, Lord. Make us happy, Lord. Make us smile again in our life. Bless us and give us great peace in our heart. Let us truly feel you with us. God with us. Lord, please embrace us with your love. Your warm embrace is coming upon each one of us to love us at this moment, Father. Oh, waves and waves of love saying that you have not forgotten us and you have not left us behind. You have come searching and chasing after us today one more time. Thank you for the kiss of love that you're giving us and filling our hearts with complete love that we are not alone in this world, Lord, that you are looking after us and we can be together with you lifelong. In Jesus' name. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, come in. Even now, you may say, I miss you, Lord. I need your blessings. Whatever miracle you need, let's ask God to give it to us right now. Your daddy will give it to you. Here is Mrs. Evangeline to pray that God will do miracles for every one of us. Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for coming into this world and giving us inexpressible joy, Lord. Inexpressible joy. Father, as the first daughter cried, saying, where were you, Daddy? Where were you all these days? I missed you, Daddy. Lord, Father, as your children are believing in you, even though they did not see you, Lord, as they are not seeing you, as they are believing in you, fill your children with your joy, Master. With inexpressible joy, Lord Father. Lord, you are here in our midst on this Christmas celebration, Lord. Father, let your joy flow into the hearts of our darling children, Lord. Father, fill us, Lord. Fill us with your joy. Fill us with your joy, Lord. Your children may be asking you the same thing. Lord, where were you, Lord? Where have you been all these days? I missed you, Daddy. I missed you, Daddy. Father, come, Lord. Come, Lord. Embrace each and every student, everyone present here. Kiss them, Lord. Embrace them, Lord. And carry them in your arms, 
and bless them, Lord. Bless them, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, come and fill every heart tonight, Lord. Come and fill every heart. Let your joy overflow in them, Master. Overflow in them. You came into this world to give us life to the full measure, Lord. Joy to the full measure. Joy and peace in our family lives, Lord. We take all these blessings and miracles, Lord. Father, whatever blessings they are seeking today, Lord, give it to them, Lord. Every blessing, every blessing in their lives. Let miracles follow them from this day on, Lord. Bless them from this day on. In Jesus' name we pray. We are here as a family to wish you all the best of God's blessings. And I'm going to ask Stella to say a word of greeting on this Christmas celebration. I would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. And I pray that Christ will be born in your hearts even this Christmas season and you shine bright like stars in this world. I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and let the joy of Christmas fill each of your hearts not only on Christmas but throughout the year. Wish you all a Merry Christmas. Would you turn to your neighbor and say, God bless you this Christmas. Wow. That's what we need, the spirit of Christmas. But it left me low You know, did what they could never do You cleaned up my soul And give me life, I'm so brand new That's all that matters I ain't love you first But you first love me In my heart I cursed you But you set me free I gave you no reason to give you the season To give me your life and you breathe When you hung there bleeding You died for my lies, I'm a cheat I'm a lust, I'm a greeting What is a man that you're mindful of us? What do I have to deserve this loving? Yeah. 